Power Drops harness nature's bacteria to clean the air you breathe. Welcome to the Neoplants Lab. We're going to show you how we created and tested Power Drops. Step 1. Molecular Level Testing We started by selecting strains of bacteria found in nature with some natural air purifying capabilities. Then, through a process called directed evolution, we triggered favorable mutations to enhance their ability to metabolize the four most common and harmful VOCs, toluene, benzene, xylene, and formaldehyde. We are able to track how the bacteria break down the pollutants by using fluorescence emissions. And after five years of this, we've evolved the strain of bacteria to significantly outperform the original version as well as our control bacteria. Now that we know it works at a molecular level, time to go from test tubes to plants. Step two, small chamber testing. We begin inoculating potted plants with the evolved bacteria that compose power drops. They're placed in small chambers so we can test at scale to understand how they perform in soil and with different types of plants. We then inject VOC pollutants to measure how fast the bacteria can remove them. Here, you can see the speed at which one of the VOCs we target, toluene, is broken down by a regular potted plant versus the same plant inoculated with power drops, which has a much more efficient remediation. Now that we know the best candidates can effectively depollute air, it's time to measure to which extent. Step 3. Large Chamber Testing We subject our plants to a continuous flow of pollutants in a larger 35-liter chamber. This setup is the gold standard when it comes to air quality testing, as it more closely simulates real-life conditions. We track the plant's ability to reduce the ambient level of toluene, as well as three other major VOCs, and we found that power drops boost plants' efficiency to remove VOCs by up to 30 times. But we didn't stop there. Step 4. Life-sized testing. In our homes, VOCs are continuously emitted by walls, furniture, cleaning products, and fabrics. Using sophisticated analytical chemistry machines, we are able to measure them down to parts per trillion, so, we constructed two identical 160-square-foot rooms to see just how effective power drops are in a typical bedroom. Let's see how they performed. For the first five days, VOCs were continuously released by the furniture to equally pollute both rooms. Then, we added power drop to plants in room one. Throughout the month, the level of VOCs in that room significantly decreased. So the results are in. Plants treated with power drops are shown to reduce the concentration of VOCs by 30% in a 160 square foot room. With biotechnology, you can transform your houseplants into natural air purifiers. 